I know you guys like the intro, and I'm sorry about that, but it's actually time to do math now. There are three skills we need to work on today. Um, the first one is finding the slope and y-intercept from a random equation like this, 3x plus 2y plus 7 equals 0. And in order to find the slope and intercept, we need to put it in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. m is the slope. And it's going to be some random number. I don't know why I just wrote sloper. I wanted to put slope. And b is the y-intercept. Um, so in order to do this, you need to set it up where y is equal to everything else. So we need to get this by itself. <clears throat> um, let's make it easy on ourselves and just move that one to the other side. So subtract 2y. So we have 3x plus 7 equals negative 2y. And now we just get to divide everything by negative 2. So we have negative 3 halves x minus 7 over 2 equals y. And although it doesn't look exactly like this, um, it's still in slope-intercept form because it's y equals an x with a coefficient, negative 3 halves, and a b. So this is the m the x and b. So the slope, m, is equal to negative 3 halves. The y-intercept is equal to negative 7 halves. Okay, the next skill is to find the x and y-intercepts. And, um, oh, don't worry about this pizza right here. I got pretty hungry and ordered myself a pizza before finishing this video. And I figured if I put a picture of a pizza, it would probably give me some motivation to actually finish this thing. But let's continue. Um, we have y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 6. And it says find the x and y intercepts. So these are places on the graph where x is equal to 0 and places on the graph where y is equal to 0. So a graph, this is a line. So in the graph of a line, there are places like here where x is equal to 0, and there are places here where y is equal to 0, and we're trying to find out where that is. Um, in order to do that, we replace y and x with 0, so let's put y is 0 to find the x-intercept and solve it. So we have positive 24 equals x. <clears throat> this means that the x-intercept is at 24. So somewhere like really far over here at, at 24 comma 0, because y is equal to 0 there, x is equal to 24. That's the x-intercept. Okay, we're also going to do the same thing for the y-intercept. And I'll use a different color for this one. So to find the y-intercept, we put x at 0. So we put x at 0 and solve it. Well, you know that anything times 0 is 0. So you have 0 plus 6. And it's equal to 6. But you actually already knew this because the y-intercept is actually in an equation in slope-intercept form. You can, of course, do this to check it. But in slope-intercept form, the y-intercept is already there. Um, I just plugged this in so you guys could see how that works for y. Okay, the last skill for the day is to um, be able to graph these. So let's say you get something like this. Um, you're not ready to graph it yet because it's not in slope-intercept form. It's not y equals mx plus b. So first you've got to solve for y. This one's almost done. you just got to divide by 2 on everything. So y equals negative 5 halves x minus 2. Now you're ready to graph it. Of course, like I said, you can use a calculator. Um, however, you need to know how to do this manually as well. Um, so this is minus 2. So we go down to minus 2. This is the y-intercept on the y-axis. So it's minus 2. And it says negative 5 over 2. So it doesn't look like this is going to fit on the graph. But we would count down negative 5, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 
But I, I guess we'll just continue this Y along the side of this pizza. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 2. 1, 2. And this is going to be our line. 